Ah, hello. Did you, by any chance, donate to the Volunteer Vampire Supply Blood Bank for the Hellion Coven? I am aware that this is an unusual question, but... Oh, you did? Splendid. You must be the one I'm searching for, then. But, oh, where are my manners? You may call me Alice in this time period. And if you've not figured it out, I am, in fact, a vampire. Under any other circumstances, vampires would not be allowed to seek out any donors for the safety of all involved, but I used some rather unorthodox methods of questioning to obtain some very confidential data about you. Please do not tell anyone. I... I am well aware how strange this must sound to you. A stalker finding your name and home address over some blood you donated in good heart? And before I forget, I must certainly thank you for your services. In this day and age, it's illegal for vampires to draw blood from anyone without consent, as it should be. And proper blood donations are needed in hospitals. Any drop towards the VVS is more than appreciated by any and all members of the Vampire Society. And I am aware how terrifying it must be to have someone show up at your house after donating, but... And I'm terribly sorry for it. I... I cannot get enough of your blood. I tasted the small dose necessary to keep a vampire alive, as resources are sparse, but have you ever had a wine so good anything else suddenly loses taste? When you find something so delicious, sweet, and nutritional, anything else will feel like oil in your mouth. It is obvious what I'm attempting to say, is it not? Well, your blood to me is liquid moonlight in a warm summer night. It tastes of smooth silk and exquisite, sweetest wine. I believe I may never be able to consume any other type of blood. I, I would rather starve to death than ever drink any drop of that filthy mud water ever again. Knowing that pure heaven runs through your veins. And I truly apologize for confronting you without warning. And completely understand if you need more time to... Or, or, or wish not to, but um, may I ask of you to become mine? <laughs> All the riches I have required in those long years spent upon Earth could be could be yours. You may live in any castle you wish, have balls and fantastic dances if you so desire. I could grant you immortality and infinite riches in exchange, but please, I cannot live another day without you. I humbly request, n no, beg of you, please, join me, be mine. I will give you anything you may have ever wished for and more, in exchange for a little blood every now and then. I will make sure you will be kept at best health and mental well-being. I will gift you fresh bouquets of your favourite flowers each day, spend as much time with you as you wish, uh, prepare your favourite meals. Uh, I'd, I'll travel the world with you if you just say the word. Anything. Anything for you. Oh, uh, of course. Take your time. I do suggest we get to know each other a little before you decide on such an important matter. Simply because I am passionate about something, or someone in this case, does not mean the person reciprocates. Forgive me, darling, but I simply must have you. Oh, you, you are not frightened of me, are you? If I did spook you, I, I, I sincerely apologise. I promise I'm not usually like this, but the thought of not having you in my life alone is filling me with unease, and something I can only describe as possessiveness. Very quite uncommon for me. Simply seeing you here, taking in your alluring scent, almost feeling the air pulsing with each of your heartbeats. F forgive me, but I... I have to contain myself. Otherwise, h how would you ever agree to live with me if this was your first and only impression of me? A bloodthirsty monster, unable to keep themselves in control. 
how would that look on me? On the vampire society? But I simply have to have you to myself. That smell, that thought of your blood, your skin, your warmth. I cannot... Damn it. I must stay calm for now. Would you agree to spend a day with me? Any place you desire. I shall play entirely after your rules, and you may test me in any way to decide whether you would mind being with me for a while. Would that be alright with you? Yes, I suppose we could call it a date. It would? Oh, perfect! Do you have your cellular device on you? I would give you my number and you shall decide when and where you would like to meet. You may also leave the choice to me if you prefer. In, in my time, I have gathered quite a few nice places to visit. All will be my treat, of course, so do not shy away from expensive places. What does this period call it? A uh, sugar mummy? Giver? Uh, I would be more than willing to offer myself as your sugar mummy in exchange for your time. And some of your blood, obviously, every now and again. Nothing you don't consent to, of course. But would it be too much to ask for a small sip for good measure? I, I apologise, I certainly am overstepping. You don't mind? Are you sure, my little lamb? This is a very different experience than having someone shove a needle into your arm. And you barely know me, after all. You have every right and reason to say no, and I would absolutely respect your decision. You're certain? You have no concept of how much this means to me. The drinking of one's blood is very, very intimate. Do not worry, my dear. The pain will be brief, and you will likely end up enjoying it. Oh, your skin is so smooth and soft. Its coloration and texture are simply... A piece of art. That is what you are, my dear. May I? Good. God, that's good. <sighs> Apologies for <sighs> pinning you against the wall like this. <sighs> good God, you taste even better when you have adrenaline rushing through you like this. My sweetheart, just a little more, please, just a little more, a little more. Damn, that was good. I, I apologize. I hope I did not go too. Far. I told you it could be quite intimate. <laughs> Seeing you flustered like this, it almost makes me want to do it again, my little lamb. You look truly too pretty to even be from this world. And I, I promise you, I'm not saying that to flatter you. Thank you for your service, my sweet. And do not worry about a wound. I looked up most of the blood, and due to my saliva, all should heal well quite quickly. If I didn't scare you too much, would you still consider my offer? <laughs> Take your time now, my little lamb. Think well and hard on this decision. But I will not have the patience to wait for long. I want you, and only you, my dear. And if I cannot have you, there will be no promise of what I would do or not do. Rest easy now, 
and shoot me a message sometime soon.